Hello everyone, I'm Comrade Mokalovar, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as the good old Soviet Union under Papa Joey Stahl, a good old Stalin. So here's something interesting. Now, I didn't know this, but I had one of my mods from my Discord ask me or tell me, like, you know, Mr. Mokalova, you lost the Japanese Civil War, you wanted them to go communist, but now the Japanese have their old focus tree back. Okay. I think last episode we checked, and uh, it said that it was a generic focus tree, but you know what? Japan is nice, but we did to help support the Japanese, the communist Japanese, in their uprising. So, what if we screwed things up and uh, made sure that the Japanese communists have a safe place to go? And maybe have them under our control? Oh no, what did I do? The Japanese People's Republic is now in the South Sakhalin Islands led by Mr. Balding Man himself, Tokuda. And they still have their focus tree. Beautiful. Now they can do some army stuff, supremacy of technology, or supremacy of will. Hopefully they don't go to war with Japan too soon. I can't really afford a war with Japan. This is probably a terrible decision that will haunt me in the future, but that's okay for right now. Anyways, they can still do their uh, nationalized Zaibatsus, or Red Brigades gives them more population, and fate of the Imperial family, even though uh, the Imperial family, they're still kind of ruling Japan. So this, I've set this up to be really weird. So it's kind of cool. Anyways, let's resume what we were doing. So I will build heavy tanks. Not mediums, I always build mediums. But we're going to build some heavy boys. Some heavy comrade boys. And we'll have some Marxist carriers. Absolutely, which we are beginning to do right now. And then we have to do some heavy tanks as well. Even though we can't really get them until 1941. What a bummer. Oh well. Just for the fun of it. And we're still building up a lot of civilian factories. Last time we took out Finland, in which we actually have a collaboration government in place, working so that we can uh, annex them faster? I don't know. Th but they're there. Cool. Let's go machine assisted encryption. This is not bad. Uh, right now, before we move on, we do have some activity that has been noticed. Let's, let's get some more passive defense. That sounds pretty good for us. We don't like enemy operatives working in our areas. And let's see, armored cars, that's good for resistance, even though we have no resistance now since we liberated the Japanese from the Japanese. And yeah, we want a lot of fighters, guns, and eventually medium tanks. Now, obviously, I'm not, I'm not building military factories right now. You know, whatever. Uh, I'll send you guys this way. And so we can take out Alicante, which would be great. Give him a little bit more time. Three, two. I'm not waiting any longer. Okay, good enough. And as long as we take this tile and they don't finish off here fast enough, that'll be great. So we have an extra research slot. Now we can do Aviation Cult. Yeah, that's okay. New Soviet Man. Kamikaze Strikes. And yeah, we got the Japanese with us, but we don't have to kamikaze ourselves right now. NKVD Primacy. I do want to go down this path as fast as possible. This stuff is good to do. Anti-Fascist Diplomacy. Anti-Capitalist Diplomacy. Um, this doesn't mean anything. Claim Sinkyang. Well, we can't do that now since we're locked out of this. Because they, they can't be in our faction. The Japanese can't. That's okay. The common turn, that's okay. This is a really bad focus tree, to be honest with you. That's alright. Aegean Island, Southern Thrust. Thrust. Eh, this stuff is all okay. Improve the Stalin line. I'll, we'll do all this stuff eventually. The anti-capitalist diplomacy really doesn't matter too much. We'll annex Sandu too, but claims in the Baltic will be important to do. But I'm going to rush down here as fast as I can. So, NKBD, Primacy or Rehabilitated? I, I have to get another Operative off. I have to. So, the military has shown that it can never be trusted. Therefore, the NKVD will need to be expanded and given greater powers with more political commissars to keep an eye on the officers. I love it. And a fourth research slot. Happy 1937. It is almost 1938. And because of that, I'm going to go ahead and do a computing machine to get started on that little bugger. And I still got some here. Italy announces claims on Yugoslavian territory. Good. Go to war. Please go to war early. And also, we have the British Empire here. They have gone fascist. Yes, they have gone fascist. They are... Wait, are they helping both China and them? Oh, they're guaranteeing the independence of China. Of both? What the heck? Mosley. What type of game are you playing here? You really want to get to war, don't you? Oh, they're get... their independence is guaranteed by Italy? Is... What? What? What are you doing? What type of weird world is this? Are they doing army expansion? Um, I don't understand. 
This is too big brain for me to really understand or comprehend this part. Oh, very good. Now I can understand this. I like this. Two divisions, two anarchists. Anarchists need to die. Yeah, let's be real. They're, they're no buddies of uh, Joey Stall. Stally. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, keep pumping out these bad boy factories. I had no. I couldn't think of anything else to say about them. Uh, yeah, 50%. You know, that's about average. Oh, hold on. 70%. Yeah, buddy. Do we have a 60? Or am I blind? I might be blind. Oh, yeah, we do. There you go. And then throw one more. There, eventually. Cool. Just keep making stuff. Keep making, making, making. We really don't like the poles, apparently. Who operatives? Yeah, we want to do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's have a little bit of fun. I'm doing counter intel. Elena? Yeah, we'll do that for now. Uh... Rescue operative infiltration risk, which is good. Excellent chance, good. I want the polls. I want to have collaboration governments. So much spies doing stuff everywhere. The Sedenton land has already been taken. I think that happened last episode. That's really ugly, Germany. That's really ugly. Infrastructure, arms, exports. How are the Spanish volunteers? We're still not done yet. We still got one division to kill off, but yeah, that's pretty good. Nicola, you are becoming a hills fighter. Glorious comrade. Glorious. I've got a couple more divisions. Great. Throw them right there. You guys need training, except for you. Um, where are you guys at? Oh, you're guarding against the Turks. Oh, I forgot to do my... No, no, I... Well, I guess I did somewhat forget to do this. Um... Wow. Twelve destroyers? That's not very good. Just throw them right there. You guys know... Oh, the two capital ships. You know what? Throw them there and we'll split that group in half. That'll be okay. Oh, we can't even leave there. That's why. That sucks. Eh, that's pretty normal, though. Cool, so Republican Spain isn't doing super well at the moment. I think against Anarchist Spain, they'll do okay. But let's start helping these guys out a little bit more. Let's see if they really need a lot of help over here. Oh, mobile warfare. Great. More breakthrough. Let's grab some organization for our infantry. Yes. And happy 1938, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. And we have seized Spanish gold reserves until... November. Holy cow, that's a long time. Passive defense, great. We're done. We've maxed that out. Next up, localized training centers, because why not? Uh, are we doing cryptology of Poland? That's good. Oh, we had someone die. Okay. Prepare collaboration government. Well, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we can maybe wait a little bit. Let's wait a little bit. We don't need to do it immediately. Or I just lie to you and say we're doing it right now, because we can. Because we can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And what do we need? We have plenty of guns, which is good. So, what do we want to make? We're almost done with our subs there, which is nice. Guns, they're doing okay. Let's go down to 35. I want to start making a lot of fighters. Go ahead and grab one thing of rubber from these peaceful Dutch East India, India people. British Sri Lanka. Oh, I already can tell this game's going to be laggy. Holy cow. Uh, I don't like this. They're getting walloped here. Help the fa Oh, wow. They're really... Not... Strong. <laughs> Words. Hard, comrade. Difficult. Are they attack- Oh, wait. Are you guys attacking here now? Oh. Yeah, if you can attack, why not? Ah, more divisions. Good. Throw them right there. They need it. You guys. You guys need it, too. Ah, uh, you might as well. Why not? We'll all train. That's, we're one big old happy family until we... Because now we've done the purge, and no one's unhappy. Go ahead, my friends. If you can. Ah, synthetic oil experiments. Very good. Now, I'm glad they removed encryption, decryption. We don't need to do that anymore here. Get some radar. That'll be good for our carriers that we're building. Can we win there? Do we have air superiority over there? Well, we're kind of ignoring it. So you guys come over here. Just come to Madrid. That's actually probably a little better. And do a lot of emphasis on bombing the heck out of everyone over here. Because the Germans are probably here and causing trouble. Are we going to win here? Maybe, maybe not. They're looking pretty weak themselves, but we're doing okay ourselves, which is good. Uh, more divisions. Grab me two of you guys. So that's a full 24 stack army. We have another two divisions, which I will throw under him again and put you next to Estonia, because those Estonians are wild. Wild Estonians. Est wild Estonians. Oh, my goodness. I love them wild. But I prefer them under us, comrade. Uh, localized training centers, cool, blueprint stealing, anti-partisan will probably be good eventually. Let's do civilian and economy. Civilian economy thingamabob. 
That'd be bueno. Oh, they want to encircle me? No. No. What are you discussing, talking about? If anything, we will be the ones doing the encirclements. Yes, please. Now oh, we're getting attacked too. Very nice. NKVD Primacy. Netherlands caves to the Germans, which we basically already planned for. NKVD divisions. NKVD should be given some divisions of its own to act as internal troops, protecting railways and important installations. Now we're tightly integrated into our army, making sure soldier morale and faith is in the party is very high. I love the reinforced right. Oh, and you know what? You can probably go ahead. Oh, I just disabled you there. There you go. You can be the bulwark against these enemies. Uh, actually, please. Thank you. Wow, we're getting attacked by quite a few people here. Uh, that's quite a few to... Oh, they can actually pierce our regular armor. Interesting. Come over there. Now, can they pierce me now? Uh, no. Not my tanks. Because they can pierce the uh, motorized that we have on our uh, recon companies. So, I want to do remind you we have recon companies. Cyber for Poland is done. Great. 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 We're going to definitely get cryptology for Germany because I don't know why you would never do that. Uh, we have another operative slot coming along. Awesome. Because of our focus. NKVD. I love the NKVD as long as they're under me and not trying to kill me off. Alright, so they really don't like us here. Austria. Australia declares independence. The empire is in crisis. New Zealand declares independence. Oh, they got encircled. Now, this is okay for trying to bait in enemy, you know, strength. Try to bait them into attacking us. Could you win here, perhaps? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? You should be able to win. Oh, yeah, they definitely will. Economy and civilian is done. Blueprint stealing. Eh, machine-assisted encryption. Good stuff. Oh, we need more civilian factories. We don't have enough yet. Hopefully, we don't get into the war, into World War II against the Jerry's. Too quickly, because that wouldn't be very good for us. I do wonder, can I throw in more divisions here now? Ah, oh, talented new officers. I've read this before, so it's going to lower our penalty. Great. I can send. F oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. F oh, look at all these tanks I could send. You know what? Uh. Oh, there you are. Zukov. Yes, buddy. Oh, look at this. Some. Political power. Promises of peace. Doesn't, is a waste of time. Recruitment in Europe. The Asian section. Local agent recruitment. Sounds pretty cool. Middle Eastern, that's okay. I'm going to wait and just let's, let's use it on something else. Um, elusive Gentleman sounds pretty good right now, honestly. Get another spy. I do want, though, Nikolai here eventually. I will probably remove civilian factory construction speed eventually. So let's go and do Elusive Gentleman. Agency upgrade time minus 15%. And another operative! Yes, yes. As a Soviet Union, you should have a ton of operatives. You are supposedly spy master, right? I am spy master. No one can spy as well as us. Not even those pesky, filthy Americans. Go ahead and retreat over here so you can come over here. Ah, it feels like we've done this before in this part of Spain before. Very good. Very good, my friends. Now that you're busy, someone's got to stay here to defend, so. Oh, we even circled some German tanks. And it. Italian Mountaineer Division. <gasps> no! Rado, Rade, Rado was apprehended by enemy Polish counterintelligence. No, go suck yourself. Oh, good. Commence. Oh, automatically repeat. Oh, someone's been jailed. Well, we got to rescue our captured operative. So, we're going to use... Resume. Oh, we can resume mission after this? That's actually really smart. Um... I think I'm going to have to wait for another... Oh, hold on. The Anschluss of Austria. Let's grab someone else. Oh, she's got a nice smile. Natalia. Hmm. I like Victor. He's a seducer and he's a commando. But Karel? Oh, that's pretty good. He's a seducer as well, but... Uh, I would love Natalia, but I gotta do Victor. So, Victor. Good luck. Kingdom of Hungary joined the Axis. Yeah, we can't... Operation Weaver refunded. We can't do this until we have our other guy, which means... It might be refunded. Four divisions have arrived in Mercia. And we have... Ah! Yes! Very good. Work on the next one immediately. Uh, just go ahead and join them here. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Canada declares independence. This is why you don't go... Uh, with British Empire route. The Mosley route of British Empire. You lose all your peoples. Glorious. Good for us. Bad for you. Haha. <laughs> Point and laugh, everyone. Point and laugh. Oh, Indian India is gone. Oh. But if you are British, then my apologies, my condolences to your country. 
Wow, Indian Pakistan. Now, this should please some Indian people. Oh, South Africa? Yeah. Big. That's. That's a little curse if you're Indian. Oh, well, if you're Pakistani, I mean. If you're Pakistani, that's a little cursed. But, uh, you know, whatever. That's a nice little orange brownish color. It's very nice, very nice. Getting our soldiers in here. Oh, and. Yeah, still, we can't do much. Because we have to rescue our guy. Oh, well, we can't do that. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, well, we need more intelligence, so... You guys are going to Warsaw so we can get more intelligence on the Poles. And how much intelligence do we have? Ah, rescue the captured, captured operative. So we might have to refund this just because our guy got captured. God dang it, dude. Why did you have to do that? We were doing so well. So well. Uh, sending the two... Oh, two tank divisions now. Oh, yeah. These German tanks can't do anything to Soviet tanks. Nice. Look at all these guys. They're gonna die. They're holding pretty well on Spain here. 1938. Ah, another spy. Uh, Sophia, you're gonna... Ooh, enemy operative intel extraction rate. Uh, oh, look at that. Takeo Yoshikawa. That looks cool. Sophia. Mmm. You're gonna beat some people up, mama. Mmm. Now, you, Sergei, you're doing pretty well. But Sophia here, she knows how to beat up her men. But let's go ahead and do some more intel on Poland. That would be glorious. Prepared. I wish it didn't have to be refunded if our guy was captured. Uh, May 8th. Ooh, that sucks. That's okay. So, we did really well over here. They are about to retake Mad Madrid. What we can do, though, is go to Salmanica, Salamanca and do an encirclement here. That would be glorious. Okay. Ah, oh, very nice. I don't think these guys will be able to hold us all back, but I could be wrong. Actually, that's probably all you need. Very good. The Nationalists aren't doing super well, which is awesome. Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria of NKVD divisions. Lessons of war. With the experiences gained fighting limited wars, we should be able to make some breakthroughs in armored warfare, and perhaps even finally whip the depleted officer corps into shape. Yes. Uh, I do have a question. Oh, we're going to do Lithuania eventually. Uh, go trash that for now. That's fine. But. Oh, wait, hold on. That's a lot of people here. That's probably a little bit too many. Elena, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here to recruit. Oh, hold on. Operations. Great. In 90 days. But we, run, we refunded it in 24 days. We might still be able to do that. Maybe. So, in the meantime, Elena. We got. We need someone here in Warsaw. You're good, and you can go ahead and maybe start doing Lithuania. That'd be good to do. So we got to keep an eye on our progress here. Oh, do we? Did we do it? And supplements? Yes. Lovely stuff, my friends. Lovely stuff. I should have my. Oh, hold on. Go ahead and start kicking them out. Good. 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 And I spy another encirclement. It looks like the... Or... or we just go gung-ho and just kill off all the nationalists. But that's not fun. We still have to kill off the anarchists. So, just go ahead and go this way, guys. You know what? Let's have a lot of fun with this. Go right ahead, my friends. Uh, you went the exact way I didn't want you to go? Hmm. That's what happens when you give enough people free will. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, you can probably go straight for the La Coruña. Uh, however you pronounce that. Look at those light tanks go. Beautiful creatures. Oh, beautiful comrades. And prepared. May 8th. It's getting closer. No upgrade being recruited. No upgrade in progress. Well, that isn't ideal. Diplomatic training because we can. Keep building, building, building. It's only 1938. We got plenty of time. I gotta watch out for May 8th, though. Come on. You're almost there. Six? Seven? Eight. Okay, six. Awesome. Okay, so now they re basically redid it and they'll do it on August 6th, which could be worse. So who do we have here? Uh, you're still here, which is good. Alright, so I'm feeling a little better about this. We can still industrial blueprints eventually. 
We got some of this, which is good. 1938, let's grab some improved infantry equipment stuff. That's good. And I do want to make sure that we have enough soldiers for both fronts. So, even though these guys are only 20 combat width, I'm not going to really care about them that much. We need more artillery. We have plenty of guns for now. I don't want to hurt my guys too much, but I do want to give them engineer companies. That's going to really hurt our support equipment, actually. Yeah, by a lot. Holy cow. If that's the case, support equipment, come back up here. And lower you by five. There you go. One a day isn't really good. We'll go to 15. That's as low as I'm going to go for guns. It's This is going to have to suffice for now. Um, we don't need that many armored cars for now, too. That'll be okay. Because once we start making some military factories, we're going to make a lot. And, you know, I'm going to make a second one. Six at a time, though. Not as important. But they're still pretty important. Two guys over here. Oh, Nikolai. Look at that. That's pretty good over around here. You guys can probably all stop. Well, you're not done yet. No, no. They're getting there. They're getting really close to being finished. I'm surprised they haven't capitulated yet. I guess we need Bilbao. Actually, just come to the airbase here. There you go. Oh, they caught me. Ah, diplomatic training. Very good. Next up, let's get some machine-assisted encryption to really make sure they can't get our stuff. Come on, Mountaineers, you got this. They're only Spaniards. I know they're Spaniards. They're crazy. Ah, computing machine. Nice. More research speed. Great. Anything here? Extraction, refineries. Ooh, we could probably actually use some of this. This stuff is okay. This stuff we could probably... Oh, let's go ahead and do some of this. I believe that we are going to go with... Hmm, close air support. I think it was battlefield support I was going to go. Not strategic destruction. Um, let's see. Ooh, air wing. Ace generation chance is pretty good. Air wing mission experience gain is pretty good. Air superiority. I am sorry. I might just have to go down this path. Actually, do you get all three of these? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I said I wanted tactical bombers, and I still do. But this looks pretty good. I really kind of want to go down this path. Let's go down this path. That sounds like fun. I'm going to go down a path right now just because we have enough air XP. So. And we might get a little bit more as time goes on. But we'll see what happens. Alright, let's go reorganize ourselves. I'm going to focus on this side here. they got a lot of divisions down there or something. How the Nationals not capitulated yet? Alright, so what's going on here? Steel industrial blueprints from Poland. I think we'll be okay. Capture the Cypher. We've already done that. Infiltrate the army. Sounds like fun. Resume mission once you're done. Victor. Elena. Thank you. I really want to know what's going on in uh, uh, Poland. And then eventually Germany too, of course. Nice. Very good. Something tells me these guys probably won't be able to hold for too long. So what if we just tell them to go force attack and make sure that our planes are doing okay. And after this war is over, who am I going to start, you know, doing, you know, collusion stuff? Collusion's fun. Oh, look at that. Uh, rookies. Do you not have any enemies around here? No, you don't. If that's the case, you guys come back home. Hang out, you know, have, have a good smoke or something. And then... Oh, you guys can hold. We're not killing the Finns anymore right now. Maybe later, but not now. You guys come down here. Oh, once that happens. Eh, that's alright. We don't have to do or research more spy stuff for now. Pais Vasco. Good, come down here. Great. Keep building up. We're doing really well on building. Really well. What do we want? Hmm, that stuff is okay. More defensive stuff. That's good. Anti-partisan will be really good eventually. Psychological warfare, invisible ink. Let's get the ar army depot. Or department. Oh, look. An encirclement. An encirclement. An encirclement. Well, yeah, it's kind of. They still have victory points down here, but whatever. Uh, Vasily. This guy is actually historically really awesome. Really, really cool. He was awarded some medal by the United States and the Soviet Union. Hmm. That never happened too often. This is our time, mine. Uh, that's good. For now, please stop wasting supplies. You guys are all looking amazing. You guys are almost amazing. You guys are pretty amazing. Ooh. Lessons of war. Great. Great, 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 great. Um, it's 38. I could go down this way. 
But it's going to take so long to do anti-fascist diplomacy that I do want to get claims in the Baltics before it's too late. So, we got to improve our railway network. So, our first five-year plan proved to be too successful. The massive expansion in heavy industry has left the Soviet Union in a much stronger position to defend herself, but the, but the Soviet railway network has some critical bottlenecks. The People's Commissariat of Railways has an ambitious plan to close these bottlenecks and ensure that we can defend the motherland. Communist China. Sure, why not? Anything else here? Oh, uh, it doesn't look like it. I'm glad we don't have very much to do there. Spain is looking incredibly amazing. Ah, uh, anarchist vic- wait. It says anarchist victory in the Spanish Civil War. With extensive Soviet aid, the Second Republic has finally defeated their anarchist and nationalist enemies. Although Paul cuts of nationalist troops to continue to wage guerrilla war. Local Republican control. The price of victory. Uh, as nation focuses on rebuilding its war-torn cities and industry, Soviet pressure on the nation is mounting. It remains to be seen whether the democratic Spanish government can remain true to its democratic principles, or whether it will become simply an outpost of Moscow's influence in Western Europe. Victory cannot be allowed to last. The best possible outcome. We got, oh, carriers. The price of victory. Due to the heavy nature of our investment in the Spanish Civil War, our influence over the Spanish government has expanded to the point where they are effectively a satellite state to Moscow. Great! I love it when everything works out perfectly. Ah. Oh. And they say... World communism can't be achieved one nation at a time. Uh, what are we going to do next? What are we going to do next? It's 1938. Uh, I could do tanks. I don't feel like it, though. I don't want I don't want to feel like I have to do it yet. Uh, that looks pretty good. Let's do some. DP and RM. 38. How are our spies? We're infiltrating the army, preparing another collaboration government. Muy bueno. We're trying to root out resist or resist resistance counterintelligence. <sighs> Oh, you chubby little Manuel. I love you, man. I love you. Well, love you enough to keep you away from me. Uh, Naval Department? Sure. So, welcome aboard to the Comintern, my friend. You and the Finns all love me. So, they have... Ooh. Oh, that's not good. That's not... That's really not good. They got more... They got a good number of planes, I suppose. Or ships, I suppose. Uh, you guys have arrived. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Throw them onto there. Well, that's not, probably not a good idea. Throw these guys right here, actually. A single division. Three right there. Thank you. And you guys should be done training. You guys keep training for now. That'll be okay. You guys stop. Karel. You guys are looking okay. Actually, what is on these groups? We don't need 10 combat with. That's too much. And frankly, do we need... We will need a little bit more support equipment if we change from military police to engineers. So I'm not going to do that. Artillery is really in the deficit right now, which is not bueno. Next up, though. Uh, industrial thingies, my bubbas. Motorized. I, I'm going to go with motorized rocket artillery research, probably. It's almost 1939, or in a few months it'll be. Let's go with industrial concerns, because that sounds like it could probably help us the most. Still building up tons of factories. Love it. Naval Department, Airports Department, immediately do that. Poland, what do we know about you? The defense of Poland. All right. We've got goodish intel. Good ish, you know. 65,000. We don't have a lot of intel on the Germans, the Jerry's. That's okay. Cryptology. Doing the Germans. That's good. Infiltrate the civilian. Oh, yes. Uh, you doing counter intel stuff. I don't want to do that until I have more operatives. So. The. Oh, oh Anglo Italian license. Distance itself from the Great War Allies and Nation of Francais and up and said announce an alliance with the Italians. Oh, Nation of Francais, you did go fascist. Pierre Laval. I completely ignored what the French were doing. So they went with national regeneration. Um, diplomatic freedom. Cancel guarantee independence with Czechoslovakia. Prepare. We've been unable to automatically Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Completed. Commence when ready. Uh, go ahead and infiltrate these guys then. Uh, that looks good to me. Commence when ready. Oh, nice. Good, 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 good. And we have two people here still. I'm going to have you start doing all the Baltic states. Because I want to have a nice, easy collaboration government when we take them over. Just so that it's easy for us to maintain... <clears throat> Control over the area. Let's let's put it like that. I like control. Oh, socialist education in Spain. 
Fraternal Republic in Spain. What is this? Enforces government change, political turmoil. Oh, we can change the government, demand intervention from our forces, to also parasitical landlords and capitalists who overreign. So, I want to do that. That sounds like fun. Let's overthrow the government. Um, psychological warfare, suicide pills, plant explosives. Let's steal some blueprints. 1938, great, great, great. And I will, once as soon as we get to 1939, I'm going to start making a ton of factories. You know what? You know what I can be doing right now? I can make factories right now, actually. Let's go ahead and plant them in Gorky. And we'll put that on the top. Just make a little bit for now. A little bit. Not much. Uh, we can wait on air doctrine, I suppose. Heavy tanks. More ship stuff. I wanna, when I make ships, I want them to be great. And one thing I should have been doing this entire time is... Uh... Actually, that's okay. Uh, we can use that, too. Training my navy. I forgot to do that. That's okay, though. Well, I really forgot to do any of this stuff. Holy cow. Why are you still... You guys can go from under blockades. But anyways. Um, you're a sea wolf. Put you under him. Put you under him as well. You guys can be led by... Spotting speed, attrition. Leader experience gain, naval speed, and damage. That's pretty good. Shore bombardment, capital armor. Uh, Sergei. Oh, I love the damage. You have no upgrades, though. That's disappointing. Do that as well. You guys are all subby boys. You know what? Instead of training, just come here. Everyone should be able to get to Leningrad. Should be. Even you guys should be able to get there, because you can go underneath these blockades. Even though this is pretty shallow water. <clears throat> but I guess not. Whatever. Just keep training, then. Keep on training. The Hispanic Alliance. Mexico's Partido Nacional Revolucionario. Formation of a new bloc of nations on the Western Hemisphere. Is this a prelude to yet more fighting? The Fourth International. Ah, who cares about the Fourth International? Who cares, right? Who cares about it? Oh, common turn. Oh, Hungary's in the Axis, too. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Italy's in the Allies. It makes no sense, especially when Italy doesn't even have a path to go democratic. But then again, the Allies are fascist. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's recruit someone from here. If we can. Let's see. Next focus. Transpolar flights. An ocean-going navy. Although the Union encompasses a greater land area than any nation on the planet, the oceans of the world are yet to be rolled over by our ships. Heavily armored battleships will be part of our future-going... future ocean-going fleet. And we get a bonus to... Uh, battleships, which is okay. Which isn't bad. As much as I love battleships... Eh, they're alright. Uh, let's look at our intelligence real quick. We're getting a little bit of naval XP a day. Not bad. France realigns her foreign policy. They're wisely staying out of things that do not concern them. Uh, a web announces tying France to countries in Eastern Europe will be under scrutiny. Oh, okay. Well, that's good for uh, them, I guess. Let's see. We got... Where are my intelligence people? One, two. And we've probably got four working on here, which... I wish I had more spies. I really do wish I had more spies. But we have this completed. Great. So i got more spies now. Uh, oh, one, two. Well, we'll probably move you down here. That's a little better. More spread out, which is good. Do we have anyone else? We'll go one, two, three. Where is everyone? So you're there. Two. Oh, we only got two more just because, uh... Yeah, that makes sense. Because only one mission completed, which is, you know, perfectly fine. we got plenty of manpower now. Artillery's coming along. Support companies are coming along, even though we need way more, which is hurting our ability to make more successful purge! Great! And then we've got the foundation for the 4th International. The hunt for Trotsky's supporters was intensified, and several people close to Solon were executed. Left with no one but himself, Solon has retreated to his mansion. With every treacherous friend and family member finally dealt with, he can now find some rest and focus fully on bringing the glory to the Soviet Union. Ah, oh, look how happy he is in his nice white suit. Ah, oh, so happy. Seeing him happy makes me happy, right? Exactly. Cool. Um, keep making this stuff. I'm not gonna make this stuff just yet. We need... Uh, where's artillery? And I will have... Oh, we're making more artillery. Good. Anti-air eventually will be important. Ah, oh, the cipher's done for the Germans. Very good, very good. More ciphers. Probably Romania, maybe? And then Hungary? And then maybe Yugoslavia, Italy? Pretty much do everyone here. You know what? I will do everyone. Except the Finns. And the Communist Japanese. Yeah, it's gonna take forever. Uh, maybe I should have clicked on everybody. 
because that's going to take forever to do at the same time. So, invisible ink, very nice. Anti-partisan. Yeah, maybe it was a bad idea. Let's not do everyone at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, Luxembourg. Netherlands, you guys, that's fine. You guys, whatever. So, I wish I would do like one at a time, not do everyone at the same time. Hmm, you know what? Keep it like that. That's okay. 600 some days. That's not terrible. I don't plan on getting into war too soon, but hey, you never know. You never know in this game. So we really need to focus more on support equipment. Okay, that's good to know. We're getting upgrades next. We're making some military factories. We're still making a ton of civilian factories, which is great. Construction speed is going as fast as possible. Uh, we could do naval stuff there, but naval stuff here is probably going to be pretty important. No heavy ships for now. That's okay. Basic medium batteries, sure. Improved airplane catapults. Cool. I'm going to do that. It's only 75 days. That's pretty awesome. We have 8 naval XP. The fate of Czechoslovakia is now underway. They've been gone. They're eaten. They go nom 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 by the Germans. Uh, hangar space. That'd be pretty important. We're going to grab some... Actually, I want to get some deck armor. I think that's pretty important. Let's grab some hangar space. And I don't have enough art naval XP for that. Hmm. Pretty normal thing for me. Pretty normal thing. Never enough XP. But Spain's looking great. Spain is looking so good. Uh, Anti-partisan. Awesome. Plant explosives. Do that. Even more anti-partisan stuff. And before we forget... I think these are the guys. These are the military police. Oh, we already have two armored cars. That's not bad. Oh, we have plenty of armored cars. I could probably go ahead and do this as well. Even less manpower needed. Hopefully. Delay doctrine. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab elastic defense. Thank you. Mm, this stuff is still okay. I was thinking of something else. I can't remember now. Basic batteries. Uh, do armaments. More armaments. More, 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 more. Spain. I wanted to do something. With oh, that's right. Fraternal Republic in Spain. So they lose stability. War support for a year. And we have done it. The People's Republic of Spain. Hello there. Oh, Manuel's gone. He's replaced with Celestino Aranda. Solidify government control. Not bad. Political turmoil. Sorry, it had to be done. But I'm not really sorry. You'll be fine with this. A Soviet recovery aid. Nice. Get more weekly stability. Daily communism support, which is always mandatory. And then we have the anti-fascist workers revolution. Solidify government control. And then re-educate the bourgeoisie. Nice. Let's see. What do we got over here? Operations. Completed infiltrating the civilian administration. Good. Prepare infiltration of these guys as well. And then... Seducer. Infiltration risk. I like that infiltration risk. That's pretty good. Now, so we've got too many people here. You can start doing Estonia. I want all these places to have collaboration governments when we're ready. Anti-partisan. Good. Uh, psychological warfare, that's okay. Suicide pills, yeah, death chance. We'll see what happens with that. It's November 13th, 1938, and I'll end the episode very, very soon. Go ahead, go ahead, yeah, do that. Ah, oh, the Soviet Volunteer Group. The continued fighting in China has created a need for, to provide air support. There's no fighting in China. For our comrades in the Chinese Red Army, Mao Zedong has approached us about sending a volunteer group of pilots and planes. He, has, he requests about 50 bombers and 100 fighters to provide escort to them. This may prove useful experience for pilots and allow us to test our newest designs and actions. No? Or yes? Yes. Soviet volunteer group. Um, I just already read this one. So we can support them anyway. Sure. And we have an ocean going navy. Next up. Yeah, this is going to take forever to do. Anti-fascist diplomacy takes forever. So, transpolar flights. Our bravest pilots are just beginning to prove that, that daring routes across the Arctic are possible. By using unexpected shortcuts like these in our planning of aerial warfare, we will be able to surprise the enemy and get a single 100% bonus to an air doctrine. But that's pretty much all for today, my friends. Oh, you know, I kind of was expecting that. They joined the Axis. Yeah, aggressive focus. Oh, Dorialt is here, too. So, towards a new Europe. Join Latin Entente. Well, I think they went probably towards a new Europe. Yep, they did. They definitely did. They split Belgium, aligned Belgium. But regardless, like I said, this is as much time as we can dedicate to this video for today. If you enjoyed today's video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And tomorrow, we will have a great time, probably against Poland, and... Maybe against Italy. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Have a great day, guys. And thank you very much for watching.